Good morning, you guys. It is 5.45. I'm looking really rough. But it is Monday, April 29th. Yes, I think it is 29th. And I am going to take you through my morning. From me just now getting up to getting dressed and leaving for school. So right now I got my coffee. I've got some laundry going because we were gone this weekend. So we got home yesterday about five. So we didn't get all of the laundry done over the weekend. So we're slowly getting that done. And now we're gonna I'm gonna take you through a typical school day morning. So what we're going to do right now is head to the bathroom to where I'm going to get dressed. I'm the only one up that right now. Um, usually everybody starts getting up about six and moving around. So I've got about 15 minutes to start getting ready before the kids get up. So let's get to the bathroom and get this looking a little bit better than it looks right now. Here's a funny for you guys. I forgot my contact case this weekend when I was at my sister's house. So I found a medicine cup that she had and I've been keeping my contacts in this medicine cup since yesterday. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hang them out. Oh, they're stuck together. Is put my contacts in and then we're gonna get to my face care routine. The lighting's not so great in here, so I apologize. So it makes me look like I have bags and everything in my eyes. Okay, so the next thing we do, I get out some of my little cotton rounds here. I am going to do my skincare. The first thing I use is my Thayer's Witch Hazel. And you guys, I think this has really done amazing things for my face. If the whitehead situation I was having on my face is slowly going away, which is great. I had them all up here on my, like where I put blush. But I've noticed that I don't have many at all now. And I am... So that means that my skincare routine must be helping. So I do this in the morning and at night. And it doesn't burn and it doesn't stink. And this comes in many different scents, but I like the rose petal the most. And my sister uses it too and likes it. So I'll let that dry for just a second. I'm gonna be keeping all of my products up here off my counter. And then I use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Cream. This I, actually, I really, really love. I've talked about this several times in favorite videos. It's got the hyaluronic acid in it. I'm going to have to get some new ones. Some new soon, it looks like. And the last thing before I start my makeup is my Olay. And you guys, I know you're only, it says night cream. But I use this during the day as well because it's very moisturizing and I've been doing it for the last like six months and no issues yet. So I'm going to keep using it. And I always go down my neck too. Okay. So that's good. So my skincare, I'm going to let that kind of set in for a second. And then I'm going to look up a YouTube video. So every morning while I'm getting dressed, I will have a YouTube video on. And I've got my little toddy gear stand right here. So I'll put my toddy gear stand down and I'll prop up my phone on it. And I'll watch a video or two while I put my makeup on and do my hair. Kitty has a Disney haul video that she posted Saturday morning. So I am going to watch that. Oh, Ryan's got one too. Oh, he's got one too. I may have to watch that as well. So I'm going to watch that this morning while I'm getting dressed. And it is 12 minutes, so hopefully that will be the only one I'm watching today. But uh, anything that I mentioned today, YouTube channels, makeup, anything, I'll put links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all.
My hair and makeup are now done the most part. I'll still leave my flat iron on until I actually leave for work. Just in case I need to get a few more little spots done. And it seems like the longer the year goes, the more tired I look. So, we just have to kind of roll with what I got. So, now I'm going to make up the bed. Let our money out and fix mine and Kate's lunch. Nathan takes care of Derek's. And look at my little buddy. He knows it's time to go outside and pee-pee. You ready to go outside, Armani? It's time to go out and pee-pee. We say Armani flies in the morning. Wee! Good morning to Kate and Derek. Yeah. Good morning. Derek's got his new shirt on from his Taekwondo tournament this week. Let me see. So it's Suri, one of his um, ATA Tigers. And there's Cherry. And Kate's just, what are you eating for breakfast? Pancakes. Pancakes for breakfast. Dad fixed pancakes. And Derek, every morning, likes to take a group of friends in his backpack. Who are you taking? And Armani is like, Mom, I need to go pee-pee. Oh, and there's Bella. Good morning. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Okay, y'all ready to see how busy we've been? The front yard is mowed. Look. Take a look at our backyard. <laughs> it's, it's taller than Armani. So, Nathan's hoping it's, it rained last week, so he could not get the backyard done. I mean, look at that. So, this week, it's supposed to be some sunny days. So, after work, he's going to tackle this backyard one day. So, every morning, Armani gets medicine. He is on liver medication. He has to take it every single day, because if he does not, he dies. Literally, I'm not being morbid, but he will die if we don't give him this medicine. And we have accidentally skipped a day by accident. Really, I couldn't remember if I'd given him his pill or not, so I didn't give it to him, and turns out that we hadn't given it to him. Um, it does change, like he has to pee a lot, and it's, it's uh, like he wakes me up five times in the middle of the night, so it's very important that he gets his medication. Not medication, I meant treat. Here's his treat, there's his medicine, and you have to watch him because sometimes he'll spit it out. And now he's waiting for his treat. He has a head perk up. Oh, he's excited. Oh, I'm not even excited. Uh, hold on. And it is 6.37, so we are going to do lunches now. And I'm going to share with you what we're putting in each one of them, mine and Kate's. So, I have everything out for Kate's lunch box. So, her ice pack goes in. And you guys, she does not eat all of this at lunch. She will, we usually have like a 20, 25 minute drive from school to home. So, she'll eat some of this on the trip home. A lunch bowl. A Gatorade. This is the low sugar Gatorade. And then apples, Nutella pack, and some chips. So that is what the inside looks like with all of that in there. So that works perfectly. So if you're wondering what the size of these lunch boxes are like, you've got plenty of space to button it or to Velcro it shut and then to zip it closed. So hers is ready, so now let's move to mine. And my lunch box. Now you guys, mine is not going to shut, but I really don't care if it does shut because this stuff is just getting transported from home to work because I have a refrigerator at work. So I just put raspberries, this will be for today and Tuesday. So those will stay in my refrigerator, half of them. My Evol meal, you guys know, this is my favorite one, the fire grilled steak. So I've got one of these for every day this week. 
then I keep my breakfast bars at work. So this is a box of those, but to save on space, I just took them out of the box. So I have a little bin in my bottom drawer that I keep all of my snacks and breakfast stuff in. And then I've got a little protein bar that I keep at work. The Luna bar in case I get hungry and there's nothing else there. Then I have two bags of Skinny Pop. I will have one of these when I want a snack. And then my two waters are probably not going to fit in there. So that is what I take usually every single day for lunch, breakfast, snack, all of that. And there's Bella. Bella, get off the counter. Okay, now it's roughly 6.50 and now I'm a little bit behind because we had to tend with Bella because she had some litter on her. So now I'm going to pick out my clothes, get dressed, brush my teeth, and get ready to head. Okay, so today I know I'm going to wear... I think I'm gonna wear my Hue leggings if I can find them. Yep, there they are. So my new Hue leggings that I mentioned in my favorite things video. If you've not seen that, I'll link that above. So we're gonna wear this and my Steve Madden Bailey shoes that I also mentioned in that video. And you guys know I always wear a tank top. Tank top. And then I've been liking to wear just a t-shirt and like a cardigan or something. I have a gray one up there. I've ran out of space on this thing. I'm trying to decide how, what I want to do with all of this. I need to reorganize it, but I'm not really sure. So let's see what we're going to wear today. Oh, you know what? I may wear the Mickey one. I haven't wore that yet. I may wear this one today because I have not wore this yet. And then with um, Armani, if you do not move, wear that with um, I have a gray. Hi. Would you? I have a gray, which isn't going to match completely, but it's probably going to get hot anyway, so I'm probably going to take it off. I might wear that one. I need some more little lightweight cardigans. If you know where to get a lightweight cardigan that's long, let me know in the comments below because my favorite one was the Mossimo brand. And of course, you guys know Target does not sell that anymore. So, I'm super bummed about it. So, that is what I am wearing today. I've got my Bailey sneakers. Got my Hue leggings. I got my t-shirt. This came from the Disney outlet. And I've got a little... Y'all, this is my maternity sweater. That is so not maternity. Liz Lang, I think it says... Yeah, Liz Lang. Maternity. It's not. I've had it for, what, almost 11, 11 years now. Okay, it's now 7, a little bit after 7, which is normally when we're supposed to be leaving. So I'm running a little bit late. And since I wasn't home this weekend, some of my stuff went to uh, my sisters with me. And I'm going to have to repack my bag for today. So I'm still using my Jan Sport that I've used all year long. And excuse Armani. So now my checkbook registers and all that go in the front pocket here. Then I've got all of my planners and notebooks and my wristlet that I use as my wallet goes inside of the backpack. I washed it. It should be in the car. I mean, it should be, um, check the, look at the laundry basket. It got washed yesterday. So you guys, that is how my mornings usually run. Sometimes they're more chaotic than others. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, there's a little bit, they're a little bit more chaotic because I have duty in the mornings and I'm supposed to be there by 7.20. So we have to move a little bit faster than we would, let's say Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that's given you a little bit of an inside look at how things run in the mornings in my household during school. So if you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you all have a great week and until next time, bye you guys.